DP? Deprived Productions, I think. I hope so, because if not, we're in big trouble, bruh. We got a sixth UE4 tutorial in the World Development Tutorial Series. So we're talking about today, we're going to talk about foliage that we actually apply to the material. So the material just draws the foliage for us wherever we want it to. Because you know, if you're working with slope based materials and such, we're going to do that again real fast, add a couple extra things to it. But we're going to have the foliage draw exactly where we want it to and not where we don't want it to because we, we own this. Let's get it started. I'm already in the DP folder and I got a couple things. I got a couple normal maps. I got a grass and I got a mud. We're just used two different things. We're making material and use two textures here. I had some normal, huh? And I got a foliage. I got some grass. You know what I'm talking about? I got some foliage. Just a grass model that I'll uh, apply as a, as, a, as a foliage model to the things. Let's get started, right? That's, that's the material. I'm going to name it uh, Landscape. Oh, God. L oh, Oh, God. Okay, uh, let's double click on that and go ahead and get started. Go ahead and drag it into the second window because you know how we do by now, right? Now, I'm not going to need these two things. I'm going to go ahead and drag them in here, okay? Let's go ahead and get that started. Go ahead and get them going here. Okay, so let, let's, let's do the same thing we have in, in a few of our world development to tutorial series tutorials these days. We need, we need two vector parameters, okay? I'm going to name this first one grass because that's what it's going to be. It's going to be the, the green collar. We usually, do, uh, we usually do, what, three collars usually? Well, today, not today, so I'm just going to do... We're gonna do two, keep it simple, you know what I'm saying? Don't over over exert. Okay. Now I don't want our, our I want our grass to be kind of green, but kind of like a kind of like a dirty, dirty kind of green. Cause I, that's what color my foliage is. And that's really the only reason I'm doing this. Kind of like a cur like a dirty. And they're like, we'll do we'll do the brown. You know what I'm saying? Like a little like a little brown in my life. Okay. A little, you know, get brown with it or however people however cool people word it. You know what I'm saying? We'll do it just like that, okay? Now let's get what we usually need here is our, our world aligned blend. So we'll type that in here, world aligned blend. There it is. Now, we need to lerp, right? We lerp this over these two collars. So let's hold the letter L, you know what I'm saying? And drag the normal one into alpha. Now, we want the grass on the bottom, right? So let's bring this thing up here. We want the dirt on the top, okay? And the grass on the bottom. That way the grass is like the main material, even though it's on the bottom of the, of the ball because we got a ball. Okay, you know what I'm talking about? So we'll talk about that in a minute. Let's hold the number one two times because we've got to adjust the blend sharpness and the blend bias. One one into there, one into there, and we'll set this first one up here to 50. You know what I'm talking about? 50, like $50. Like $50 make him not holla because I need more money than that. The second one's going to be negative 16 all day, airy day, all, all the time, airy time, okay? Now, now the thing is, if I go up a little bit like this, I see a little grass. Oh, uh -huh, there we go. Okay. And it's not, a, it's not a big, big, big transition. So actually, I'm going to make it just a little bit brighter for now. You know what I'm saying? A little brighter. A little brighter. Uh, separate them just a little bit more. You know what I'm trying to make this one a little bit darker. Maybe just like a hair, son. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Maybe not that dark. Oh, God. Anyway, there we go. That's, that's what we got going on. So we got our little thing going on. But y'all know how we do, man. I got to hold the number one. And I got to plug it into metallic because I don't want none. I'm going to hold the number one again and plug it into roughness and set it to about point. Eight, five. I want to be pretty rough. You know what I'm talking about? Get rough a little bit. Now, let's go ahead and save it and make sure it's doing what we're doing over that landscape I got. Because we actually have to apply the material to the landscape. And then we're going to add the normal maps in there because we haven't really done that yet. But you guys, I'm sure you understand how to do it. I got my, my landscape selected. It's asking for a material. I'm going to drag landscape on there and drop it and be like, boom. You know what I'm talking about? Now, I've got a certain type of lighting built here and all that kind of cool stuff. So we're going to have to just take a deep look, get deep, okay? It's compiling the shaders and every once in a while, especially when you first add a material to it. it might take a couple extra, extra minutes. You know what I'm saying? A little, little extra, okay? A little extra minutes for you. And then after it pops up, we should see our slope-based action going on here. Is it going to happen? Oh, oh, okay, okay. Okay, cool. It's kind of it's kind of working. All the slopes have a little little brown. You know what I'm saying? You know, like, and I like that. That's not, too, that's not too bad. Now, the point is it's mainly grass, and I understand that. But basically, just we want to see if we can get the foliage to cover just the grass and not the dirt. Let's jump back into this bad baby and get our normal maps going. Now, this one is ground mud, yeah? So it needs to be on the top, and grass needs to be on the bottom. And then literally, I'm just going to take this whole thing right here and control... Or, Copy and paste it, so control C with these selected, and control V, boom, and then they get another lerp. You can control C and control V or hold the letter purple or whatever it is. It's, it's L. I'm just kidding. It's, it's L. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, this has got to be plugged into normal. We know that, okay? And we're going to go ahead and make sure the, the mud is, is plugged into the top here. That's, this is the mud one, right? Yeah, it is. Plug it into A. Plug grass into B, okay? That's what we're talking about. And we'll save it. Now, I'm going to tell you one problem we're going to have real quick. And basically, this is why I wanted to cover normals today. We haven't really touched textures. And we're getting there. Don't worry. It was, it was baby steps all day, every day. I, I say that too much. But 
It's probably you now looking here. You're like, okay, I, li I, li I like what's going on there. You got the you got the uh, the grass normal o o over the over the mud there. Now, now if you look at it, you're like, uh, uh I don't see it. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you why you don't see it is because you got to get right up on it. And, and let's let's just be honest, this is not a very large landscape. Yeah, it could be if I wanted to be like this tiny. You know what I'm saying, like real tiny. <clears throat> but I'm real big. All right. So anyway, so what's going on now is we're gonna get a. Now we can use the texture coordinate. You've done that before. We've done the texture coordinate. I'm gonna do something a little different. We're gonna landscape. Uh, layer coordinate. Yeah, that's exactly what we want. I'll plug this into, in, into both of these because they both need to be just a little bit bigger. Let's just say it like that. Now, what it is is a, a mapping scale right here. If we set it to one, it's going to be typically what it was before. Now, unlike a texture coordinate, the higher you go up, the more it tiles. Well, the higher, the higher you go up on the landscape texture coordinate, the less it tiles. So the more it stretches. So we're going to Let's set it about 25. So we should make, make it pretty pretty zoomed in. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? A little, little, little zoomed in. There we go. Okay. We'll save that. Looks real, looks real weird, you know, right here in the, in the little window. And basically, that should be it, guys. We got the beginning of our, our uh, material here with a little bit of normal map action. And then we're going to add the, add the foliage. And it's actually really simple. Let's let this bad baby load up. You know what I'm talking about? Get down with it. Get down with it. Got some... Got some little, little, up, up, okay, not bad. You know, just for a real quick trial run, I'll take that. I kind of like what it did there. It separated it a little more, you know what I'm saying? I like that. It's a cool look. It's a little dark over here. I ain't gonna lie. I got the, the, the depth of field on, too, and all that cool stuff, but whatever. No, that's just lame. It's me being lame. I'm lame. All right, so what we're gonna do now is real simple. We need something that we haven't used before so we can add it to the material. So we're gonna right-click out here, okay? Back in the co content browser, go to miscellaneous. And I want you to find, let me find it here, landscape, gra landscape grass type, okay? And that's exactly what I'm gonna name it grass, okay? That's because that's, we're gonna name it grass, okay? Because that's, because, because, because that's, that's, that's what it is, okay? We're gonna double-click on this landscape grass type, and we're gonna create one by pressing this little plus button. Boom, and we can drop the arrow, and this is our foliage right here. Now, it's asking for some foliage, and that's why. And I've got it set in our third window here. See? Now, y'all know how I do, okay? This is how I do it. Okay, that way I can just zoom between everything real fast. I'm going to grab my foliage right here, bring it all the way over to my third window since I separated them all nice and neat and organized and stuff. I'm going to drop it right in there, and boom, we're done. Now, we'll go ahead and set a couple things if we want. I might set the scaling to 0.1 and 1.5. And then 0.1 and 1.5 and 0.1 and 1.5. It's basically like where the grass can be different sizes on the X, Y, and Z. So it would just be different, different size grass. You, if there's, there could be a lot of it. I'm going to keep it at 400 and all that. And we're not going to worry about the, the calling. You know, we could obviously just like any foliage, get down deep and dirty in that, son. Okay, don't do it. Don't do it right now. Not while we're all here together. Now, we're going to save this because it's done. And we can come back in and edit it. But we're going to go into our material and add it to this bad baby. Now, check out what I do here. I want you to type in... Um, grass just the word grass and you'll see landscape grass output now when you click on that you're gonna get an error it's gonna say input missing and you're like well duh i literally just added it to the thing thank you unreal though for being kind enough to remind us that we're making a mistake even though we haven't had time to fix it so we got this grass output right now we need to plug something into it so i'm gonna plug this this, this thing right here i'm gonna plug this right in there boom okay that's it. Now, what we're basically saying is to draw on a certain one of those. We, we want it's actually going to draw on the green. If we reversed it, we could have them draw on the on the brown. But this will actually make it draw on only the grass. Okay. But what is it going to draw on the grass? A grass type. And what do we do? We made one. It's called grass. And we're gonna we're gonna drag it over here. We're gonna drop it in here. And we're gonna save our material because now it has a grass type on the world align blend we created, only on the grass material. So now. When I jump back in, you're going to see, hopefully, hoping, hope, hoping to God here, that it worked and that we've got grass, that, we've, we, that, that, that we're going to have, we're going to have, we're going to, are we going to have, oh, oh, we got some grass. Oh my God, we got grass. Look at it. We got all kinds of different sizes, different shapes and sizes and a couple different colors, look a little fades. And as you can tell, it did not draw it on the dirt. And yeah, look, this is real, real cheap, real quick. You know what I'm saying? It looks a little better in this lighting. I like the, I like it right here in this lighting. That's pretty. You know what I'm talking about? It's pretty, pretty nice. But again, this is very, very quick. Just want to show you guys. The point is kind of fly over and kind of let it load over everything here and fix my, fix my stuff. But guys, let's check it out. Now you could go back and you could, um, you could add even more layers with more foliage. You, you already know what I'm doing. I mean, you could literally just sit here and kind of toy with it. And obviously, Obviously, the calling is set to a certain number, and it's not doing what I want it to do. But again, guys, this is just about adding the foliage to a material like this. So, I mean, you're talking about saving a ton of time instead of having to paint all this on there. And like I said, depending on how, you know, you may have a really rough, rough, 
a really rough, okay, you, like, might, you might be rough. I'm saying you might have a really rough landscape. And you may, you know, you may not have a certain type of, it might be a lot of grass, maybe a lot of grass material on it, which means it'll just go in all the little tiny spots you got and paint it on there. You won't have to take all kind of time painting all kind of grass. Instead, your material will do it for you. I love it. Thank you guys for watching the sixth world development tutorial day on the Unreal Engine 4. I love you guys, miss you guys. I want to be on you guys. We probably will be one day. When also, um, I, I hope you guys will please, please, Excuse me. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel, Deprived Productions, and please like the Facebook page. Deprived Productions, go check out Deprived with the capital D at the beginning, a capital D at the end. We got all kind of music, free music, SoundCloud, Bandcamp. Hit us up, man. If you want to support us, that's how you do it. Three bucks, buy the EP, listen to it, jam it, rock it, and show your friends. You know what I'm talking about? Anyway, UE4 all day, guys. I appreciate you guys. Um, I'll be back soon. You know what I'm talking about? I'll be back in maybe a few days. Besides that, keep up with us on the Facebook page. If you haven't liked it yet, get on there. We say something about almost every day. Just keep in contact, man. Love y'all. Miss you. Peace.